they should close now. Hello guys, James Gain here on World Foot Day. Is it the 3rd of March? I think it is. Just reading my own book. Um, very excited to be here with you today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read a page from the Rock and Roll Diaries, from book one, here. And if you guess, I want you to tweet or Facebook us at hashtag Scope, hashtag World Book Day. Let me take these glasses off because I think you want to see my beautiful eyes. Um, so I'm going to read a page and I want you to guess the number of the page I'm reading and we will sign my guest interviewer, who I'll introduce later, we will sign one of these and also book two, which I've just grabbed now, which is here, and to sign both of these for the person that, that tweets the right page number first, okay? But make sure you put those hashtags, hashtag ScullyScope, hashtag World Book Day, because it's World Book Day, and it's about reading. So, now bear in mind that I'm not very good at reading, so we might have a bit of a, bit of a time, okay? T ignored him. Why do you have to play through everything anyway? We're trying to work something out. T looked up, winked at the singer, and carried on playing. You really are a right proper dick, Bert hissed, his face colouring. You, you're the idiot, Burke. Have you considered that I'm trying to work something out for the good of the song? Well, can you work it out when I've worked this out, please? How, how about I play quietly, compromise? No, just shut up. There's obviously a big argument going on here. T stopped noodling and stood up. I'm off, no point in sitting around here getting verbally abused. Egg looked up at Clipper, Clipper looked at Bert. T scowled at them all and Bert looked worried. It's not that we don't ap appreciate you needing time to work stuff out, it's just that it makes things a lot easier if you work stuff out without background noise. Egg reasoned softly. So I'm background noise, am I? I didn't mean it like that. Bollocks to you both, I'm off. So. That's a little tiny reading from my book, The Rock and Roll Diaries, as you know. Um, if you can guess the page number that I was reading it from, um, then uh, tweet it with the hashtag Skellyscope and the hashtag World Book Day. Now, it's not often that I get the opportunity to um, introduce someone who is not only a very good friend, but also someone I work with closely. And someone, I mean, let's just take, he's going to interview me, so usually it works the other way around, the interviewer uh, introduces the interviewee. But this, on this occasion, because he's such an important man, please welcome Mr. Rodney Alejandro. <laughs> Get all right, all right, all right. All right. So we're going to have a rock and roll moment of questions for Mr. Scally, and these are coming through on Twitter. Okay. All right. T's Uncle Frank. T's Uncle Frank. Yeah, character in the book. Yeah. You remember him? T's Uncle Frank, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is he based on anyone you know personally? He's based on loads of different characters I knew growing up in South East London. One in particular who was a bit of a gangster but had a, had a good heart. And um, yeah, so pretty much some people I grew up with um, in sort of New Cross area. Good Next question. question. Yeah, who was that from? Can't tell you, I already changed the <laughs> uh, Next question is. Is it cheeky to be visiting someone in the hospital but tuned into the Sparoscope? Yeah, it's really cheeky. Um, who, 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 who is that? Uh, I can't tell you. I, I can't tell you. I don't want to ruin my reputation with their family. And uh, is it cheeky? Yeah, but I think it's important that, you know, you know, a hospital is a place where you want to bring joy to people that are feeling not very well. So I think we're bringing joy. Bringing joy. How about that one? Or making them sicker. One yeah, making two. them sicker. <laughs> All right. Now this one from Kath. Yeah. At Kath, and really a lot of numbers. Anyway, it's World Book Day, and yes. you were a rock and roller at one point. I was. In your previous life. I still am. I consider myself still a rock and roller. How many crazels did you know? Well, we had a few like crazy crazels uh, in from in my band, Officer Kicks. Um, so uh, it was, um, yeah. I mean, I would say maybe four or five. Four or five crazels. Proper crazels, yeah. Wow. That sort of stalkers kind of, that kind of thing going on. Yeah, yeah, nice. And so now that you're not a rock and roller per se, you know, retired yeah. rock and roller and a book author, yeah, still get some crazels? No, I think everybody's really respectful, actually. I mean, um, uh, everybody's really respectful and lovely, and, and we get a lot of sort of presents and stuff from people, um, which is really lovely. 
Um, we got, uh, I got a lovely picture from someone the other day, which had all the pictures of, of people reading the book, which was lovely. Uh, I've got a pair of um, a pair of earrings. I, don't, I haven't I earrings. Haven't got yeah, earrings. I haven't got any. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that, got quite a lot of stuff. So no, but yes. All right. Uh, not to give too much away, because you have to read the books. Right? Yes. Wilson Clune. Yes. Um, how do you explain that one? Well, it's an anagram. Has no one got the anagram yet? No, don't give it away though if they didn't. Okay, well, so it's an anagram. You can anagram, figure it out. Yeah, you're send it to Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe he will confirm or deny. Yeah. You never know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, book one and two are out. Yes. Uh, what can we look forward to in book three and four? Book three and four, um, well, I'd say more of the same. There's more of the same sort of banter and stuff, but I think what's really happening uh, in three and four is. is is they just get bigger and bigger, and I think in any band that are big, you know, those pressures. I think there's, you know, in any band there's pressures and there's pleasures, and the pressures can cause, you know, rips in the time continuum, and the pleasures can also do the same thing. And I think we explore a lot more of that, and that's what I'm giving away. Cool. Uh, from Heather Page. Yes, Heather. Is High Bench a real place? If so, where? Mm -hmm. That's a literal meaning. But what's the metaphorical meaning for the book? Metaphorical meaning for the book. I, I think. Can that question. Yeah, yeah. I, it is. I think it's a fourth. I think it's a fourth member of the band. Really, it's where they all kind of congregate and, and talk about their, their deep inner innermost fears and their deepest kind of worries. And you know, it's where uh, Bex and Ed meet a lot, isn't it? Um, uh, what was the other question? Literally, where is it? If there oh, is literally, where is it? Well, it's in Greenwich Park. And it is a real place. I mean, I used to go up there with with young ladies in my in my heyday. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. I used to kiss them on the face. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, on the, right on the face. Uh, here's another great question from Ivana. Ivana, yes. Uh, do you recognize yourself in any of the characters? Oh yeah, big time. So which one more than another? I think I recognize myself. I was a lead singer in a rock and roll band, and Jack Skill is a rock. You know, um, so. Definitely Jack, but you know, not to the extent he's because he's obviously mental. Uh, I really like his song, man. Uh, so yeah, probably Jack is the one I. I think Jack and Ed, you know, both sides of my personality, but not to an extent that is worrying for anybody. Okay. Since the Rocketeers are playing in the background and the books about the Rocketeers, uh, explain why music came about and actually actualizing it, releasing EPs. Uh, for people to hear what the band at least sounds like. So as you know, I met the script around about nearly 10 years ago in 2007 and uh, on tour I found it quite boring sometimes. You'd either drink or you'd either, you know, you could drink or you could um, uh, drink some more. But I decided to write a diary and that formed into the, rock, the first book of the Rock and Roll Diaries and the boys, Danny and Mark, read it, they loved it and they suggested why don't we write uh, a soundtrack to it and that kind of morphed into the idea of um, it being part of the band The Rocketeers and, and bringing them to life like that so that's pretty much how that worked out. What was that part of the question? Why did you choose to go ahead and make a soundtrack for the book? Most books they just put out a book yeah. and you kind of have to imagine it but now you got actual music. Yeah. So why did you decide to write songs along with it? Well, because I think it's, it's a book about music and it felt it felt kind of logical and fun to do something, you know, to do something a bit different, you know? So right that's up. pretty much, you know, pretty much why. Cool. And do you have a favorite song from the Rocketeers? Satellites. Satellites? From the Rocketeers? So explain it. Why Satellites? Satellites because it's the first book, it's the first song in the book um, that Egg plays to the rest of the band. Uh, and it's kind of like his way of becoming a man almost. He, 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 he kind of overcomes his shyness and he plays it to the rest of the band. And I think that's a big moment. And I also think it's a really great song. And I think, the met talking about metaphors, I think the metaphor of that song is, is really strong. And when, when myself and the boys wrote the song, uh, we got very excited. It was kind of the first song that we wrote for the project as well. Cool. Yeah. So in honor of World Book Day, can we explain where what, what, what the book day is about and where can we find the books and the music? Yeah, so World Book Day is obviously a day where we celebrate books in general. We read, 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 read. 
and lots of people dress up and go to school and stuff. I've actually got a big school visit tomorrow. I won't tell you where, because that'll be unfair, but it's a big school visit. I'm going to talk to 600 students um, about me, which is, you know... Even... Go for days. <laughs> it's going to be longer than that. Um, and you can buy the books and you can buy the music all on Amazon. So you have to search the Rock and Roll Diaries um, and the Rocketeers. Um, and you can go and stream it on Spotify. Um, but all the all the all the information is on our um, on our social networks, um, on my social networks uh, at Jamie Scallion or at the R and R Diaries. Um, so yeah, so you can get it from there. One last question from last at, question at R Alejandro Three. Yeah. Um, what is your most cheeky rock and roll moment? Do you know, I'm going to say my cheekiest, not my cheekiest, but my hila most hilarious <laughs> rock and roll moment is when um, Danny Mark and yourself, I believe, convinced me to run through a wall for rock and roll moments. And I think, I think you were there as well, George, actually, wherever George is, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I, I, I tried to run through the wall, but of course it's a wall, and I felt, and it was, that was probably my funniest rock and roll Did you say the wall one? The wall, wall definitely one. <laughs> now, before we go, I, I'm going to take an opportunity to ask Rodney a couple of questions, which I know that you guys are going to want to ask, um, which I want to know about as well. When are you next going on tour, brother? I can't tell you that. Okay. If I tell you that, I have to hurt you. So you have to kill me. Yes. Okay. Uh, and when's the next record being released? Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> See? You heard it here first. Listen, guys, it's been absolutely wonderful seeing you. And um, which, so who got it right? Who got it right? We, we're, still, we're still searching the Twitter sphere. Okay, moment. yeah, well, listen. We're going to sign them anyway. We're going to sign them right now, and Rodney's going to sign them too. They need to send a number and the, with the hashtag. Right, so you need, you need to send the number and the hashtag, and we'll sign them to the person, whoever's name it is as well, we'll find out their name and, and sign them to the name there. But I'm just right now going to sign this. And remember the hashtag, hashtag Skyscope, hashtag World Book Day. Um, okay, we'll with the page well. number. What? The hashtag says, hashtag World with the page number. With the page number. George is saying with the page number, okay? So, Rodney, please sign. Finish that. Finish that. I'm going to sign this one. There you go. Track We're going up to the track and bye. So, we're going to listen to it. I love you. Bye bye. Take care.